So let's take a look at the most basic level of an HTML page that we can create that's still valid. So entering command prompt, I'm going to create a new directory for our HTML page. So I'll cd into my projects directory. And I'll create a new directory for the sample HTML boilerplate. I also want to create a blank HTML page that I'll use to fill with my code. Convention has us naming our main HTML page index, uh, which is what most servers will look for first. So now that I've created a basic index HTML page, I'm going to open this up in Sublime Text. Now that I've opened up my HTML page, let's go ahead and add some code. So the first thing is to declare a doc type. This will tell browsers which version of HTML you're using. We'll be using HTML5, so we'll use the HTML5 doc type. Next, we'll need to encapsulate our HTML content, so I'll use an HTML tag. I also want to set the language of our application to English. Now that we have the HTML tag de defined, we also need to define a header and a body tag. So the header section, which is the head tag, will contain meta information about our page. The body tag will contain the actual content of our page. The first tag that I want to add to our head section is the character set that we'll be using. And this is just more information for the browser to be able to render our page. So I use the meta tag and set the care set attribute to UTF-8. And this tells the browser that we'll be using UTF-8 characters. I also want to create a title tag The title tag is what the browser will render in the window name or tab title. And that's it. I'll save my document. And as a handy shortcut in Sublime Text, if, I'm, if I have an HTML page open, I can right click on the page and choose Open in Browser. And there we go, my page has been loaded. We can see here in the tab that our title tag has been rendered my first HTML page. And if I open up the inspector using Command-Option-I, I can see that my HTML has been successfully loaded.